some have referred to as a quad-demic. Dr. Leah Monday joins us now in studio to explain which viruses are increasing and how you can protect yourself and your family. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So what are these four viruses? So yeah, this quad-demic is sort of this really tweetable term for um, our normal winter viruses, flu, COVID, and RSV. And then a little bit of a wild card this year, we're seeing some higher numbers uh, than usual of another virus called norovirus, which is sometimes referred to as the stomach flu. And we previously haven't seen numbers this high prior to 2019. So it's a little bit changed from the normal viral season this winter. And that seems to be the trend too with the other viruses as well. It seems like everything's just on the rise. Whooping cough was on the rise for a long time in schools. It just feels like this viral season is more intense than usual. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because you actually can't tell what you have a lot of the time unless you get tested. So, for example, flu and COVID and RSV, you might have, you know, runny nose, headache, joint aches, fever, a cough. And then, of course, all three can, in some cases, progress to pneumonia and cause difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, et cetera. Uh, norovirus is different though because it's really more of a gastrointestinal illness. Um, although people can still have fever, they can have abdominal pain and diarrhea, but vomiting and nausea is really the most predominant feature of norovirus. It's and so, a really nasty one. It is, and it, it sort of comes out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. um, suddenly you feel very nauseated and you vomit, and then almost as soon as it comes, it goes away, and by two to three days later, it's gone. Um, which is unusual and is different than the other viruses. And it can really sweep through households as well. It can affect the whole family, which which is just a nightmare scenario. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting because it's a very hardy virus. Um, we really need to wash our hands when someone in the house has it or is vomiting because sanitizer is not very effective and it can survive on surfaces for quite a while. So it's really important if it's going around your house that you're being extra vigilant. So I was at a children's play place yesterday and with it being cold winter here in Michigan, it was so crowded. <laughs> I texted my husband and I said, there is no way we're leaving here healthy. I mean, it, it's just the feeling of, of how quickly these viruses can spread. They did have hand sanitizer everywhere, but you know, in those scenarios, I mean, what do you recommend like to really protect yourself? Well, sure. I mean, I'm a mom and that's always my number one concern as well. So when it comes to norovirus, it's really hand washing, hand washing, hand washing. And if someone in your house starts to come down with nausea and vomiting, you got to get out the bleach wipes. You got to wipe down every surface. And you're even going to want to wash that person's clothes separately in hot water and try to have them use a different bathroom if you can. For everything else, especially the flu, you know, I really want to remind everyone that every kiddo out there, six months age and older, should be vaccinated. And, um, you know, as a mom, it's not about, oh, my kid had the flu vaccine before and they got the flu. It's not about did you get it or not. It's about did you survive? You survived and you weren't hospitalized and you weren't on a breathing machine. And um, no child should die of influenza without a vaccine in this country. And I really want to spread that word to parents. And the same goes for COVID and RSV. There's vaccines for those as well. Absolutely, yeah. There's COVID vaccine and now we have an RSV vaccine as well for certain groups. So that's also very positive. Norovirus, unfortunately, we're stuck with hand washing. Yes, and it seems like that also really spreads among children and in schools. You just really have to be very careful for well, that one. Children are quite dirty, so. Yes, I know. I have three. <laughs> well, Dr. Leah Monday, thank you so much for joining us and sharing this important information. You can never hear enough about how to stay safe and clean and healthy. Thank you. Thank you. A fulfilling job can be one of the most rewarding parts of life, especially for those dealing with disabilities. After the break, how one cafe is making sure everyone gets a fair shot. Tuesday morning on CBS News Detroit. Not my backyard. Why plans for a new development have one metro Detroit community deeply divided. Plus your next weather forecast and traffic updates. We'll see you in the morning starting at 5.